welcome to my studio can you guess what we're making today i bet you already figured it out didn't you so yeah we're making a bunting this is a happy birthday bunting perfect for parties the one i made is super colorful i used all the colors of the rainbow um, the best part about it is that when you're not putting a party you can just turn it on the other side and just use it to decorate the room I think it's a fun idea um, I always wanted to make one of these so this is my first time making a bunting with you guys before starting let me show you the supplies you will need for this project so the most important one is the cotton fabric uh, you can buy this by the meter from any fabric shop or even from your craft shop and uh, the best thing about it is that you can use your fabric scraps <laughs> if you want you can use one single piece of fabric make all the flakes from the same pattern but I think using different patterns is so much fun. Then for the letters, if you want to add letters or anything on the bunting, it's your choice. So if you want, you can just make a plain bunting with no letters or anything on it. For the letters, I would recommend using felt. You can find this at your local craft shop or fabric shop. I'm going to use this light shade of felt which will go well with the colors of the rainbow and why using felt because you can easily cut it in any shape without worrying that the edges will fray so yeah i would recommend felt for the letters and for assembling the bunting uh, you will need some bias binding you can find this by the meter or in um, individual packs like this or if you don't have bias binding you can easily use a very wide ribbon I would recommend like 3 meters of bias binding or ribbon for your bunting if you're making the happy birthday bunting or you can easily make your own bias binding if you would like me to make a tutorial on how to make your own bias binding please let me know in the comments below uh, what else do we need so we will need a um, good pair of scissors a ruler or just a measuring tape and a pencil to make some marks on the reverse of the fabric a needle and thread or a sewing machine I'm using my brother's sewing machine for this project so yeah I think that's about it let's uh, get started so come closer and I'll show you step by step how to create the flags and how to assemble everything We need to create this sort of triangular double-sided flag. In order to do so, take your fabric, which should be 16 inches wide, and uh, fold it in half. And so now it should be 8 inches wide. Then take the ruler and mark on the top at every six and a half inches on the bottom start with a three and a quarter inch mark then mark at every six and a half inches same as on the top side Then all you need to do is connect all the marks in a zigzag, creating the triangle shapes.
Next, cut out all the triangles. Having your fabric folded in half, you actually cut two triangles at once, creating the two sides of the flag. Cut as many triangles as you will need for your bunting. I used 16 flags, 13 for the letters, plus 3 more for the sides and separating the words. I picked my colors and arranged them to create a rainbow. Print and cut out the happy birthday letters, which should be around 2 by 3 inches. Then take your felt sheet and trace the letters onto the felt. I would recommend tracing them mirrored so when you cut them out you'll no longer see the marks on the front. Place the letters onto the flags and pin them on the front side only. Then sew all the letters. I use my brother's sewing machine for this process, but you can uh, sew them by hand as well. So this is how the flags look like so far. Next, you need to put the two sides, one on top of the other, with the right sides on the inside. And sew the long sides of the triangles, leaving the top open. After sewing, trim the seam allowances, if necessary of course and snap the angles just cut the tips of the triangles a bit then turn inside out and use an iron to flatten the seams I also made a seam all around very close to the edge as this will make it easier for you to iron the bunting after washing it Arrange the flags. And take your bias binding and pin the flags onto it.
Leave on one inch gap between the flags. Sew everything and you're done! This is how uh, the bunting should look like. Here is the final result. I kind of like how it turned out. It has all the colors of the rainbow and on each end I made a loop for hanging and made another one for my daughter's room. This one has her name on it. Oh. <laughs> Used all the colors of the rainbow as well for this one. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, also, I'm uh, getting another video ready for you. This time I'll be making a wedding bunting. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I'm posting new videos. Also, if you tried making your own bunting, let me know in the comments below uh, how it turned out. So happy crafting everyone. See you soon. Bye. Guys, welcome to my studio. Let's do a new project. Yay! Uh, before st before starting, let me show you the here's all of your scraps. <laughs> a good pair of scissors.